wea wea iko wea wea iko wea wea iko mbembe moro wonde ngulo namto ula banu wango ula malangango malangana boe sawarere sawarere rere na milango ka sawalengo arulengo de mulo bebe moro yo wea wea iko wea wea iko wea wea iko mbembe moro wonde ngulo Namto ula banu wango ula malangango malangana boe Tsawarere tsawarere rere na milango ka Tsawalengo arulengo de mulo bebe moro If you measure wealth in terms of clean air clean food clean water unpolluted Vanuatu has those in abundance. Everything our existing non-Western culture values is not worth anything in terms of money. GDP measures value only in terms of money, cash. So by using GDP as a measure of well-being, Effectively, you're discounting everything that exists in the traditional economy, the way people live, the way they're sustained and make their livelihoods. So in that way, I think GDP as, a, as the sole measure of well-being is very destructive of our living traditional cultures. Wealth measured in terms of the indicators we develop for Vanuatu, which is access to customary land, participation in ceremonies that create this social safety net around you, also indicators to do with clean air, clean food, clean water, safe community. We already have all of that. And so the whole point is, let's engage in a kind of development where we preserve all of that stuff Development of the land, development of the environment means culture. Reading the nature where you live, how you can predict the weather, how you can tell when to plant a certain, a certain crop and when to harvest. And when, when the nature speaks to you, the two of you communicate and this builds up the development around you. In the past, when the missionaries came and told us we were in the dark, that was when we had development. In the past, when we didn't know how to learn to read and write books, but we only knew how to read and write life, that was real development. Access to land, access to our way of life, our tradition, that is real development. We, we didn't cause any pollution. Yeah, we, we didn't do any destruction. Development is about life, making life happier, easier for everyone. And this development we had in the past. Until these people started coming with uh, whatever material development or what, we started to lose belief on the real development. And now we are believing on the, I call it a Kiaman development. Kiaman meaning it's a hopeless development, it's a lie development. It's not the truth. What has generally happened with development is that you develop in a way that destroys all of that good stuff. And then you get to a stage where you realize that's what you want. And then you've got to find a way to get back there. 
So in Vanuatu, we really got to be very serious about realizing that we have it already. We just need to protect it and make sure that the benefits that can come from orthodox development, and I mean things like access to technologies that improve communication and improve health, improve well-being, greater understanding of science, for example, to be able to put it alongside our traditional knowledge to better understand how the world works. Those kinds of things, we need to be very careful in how we pick and choose what we take on Vanuatu to assist our development so that we can have the best of both worlds.